Hey, All Tell Nation, welcome back. It's Friday and I got another great J2534 Flash programming presentation for you guys. Now, what I want you to remember by the end of this presentation is if you're gonna get in the game of uh, Flash programming, okay, never assume what needs to be done. Always back that up with some type of evidentials from the manufacturer, okay? What you're gonna see in this case study is by assuming these procedures, there's always something that might be uh, left out in terms of coding, okay? Some vehicles don't need to be flash programmed, all right? You, you can have situations like that too. So just remember, always have proof of why you're doing what you're doing, okay? Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this presentation. What I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is how to program a and code a transmission control module and a transfer case control module on a 2015 Chevy Suburban. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm an Autel Diagnostic Consultant. I sell this tool and I help the clients that you'll see in this presentation. Okay, so if you want to purchase a tool, go to my website, or if you need J2534 training, you can also go to my website. I'll be more than happy to assist you. Okay, now, what you will learn by the end of this presentation, we're gonna cover some important terms related to GM, flash programming, um, the risks involve assuming procedures, okay, the framework I use to verify programming and coding, using GM's uh, service information website, and then how to program the TCM and the transfer case control module, and then how to code the TCM and transfer case control module, okay? Now, what we're gonna be using are the following, the IM608 Pro, the J2534, a laptop with Windows 10 installed, a good battery maintainer, it's different than a battery charger, um, the GM programming subscription, which you can get for 40 US dollars and the GM service information. You can get a three day service information subscription for about 21 bucks. Okay. Now terms SPS, this stands for service programming system. When you see this in the documentation, this basically means that module needs to be flash program. Okay. Uh, setup. You're also going to see this when you see the service uh, SPS. If there's a coding procedure, they call that the setup. And this is just the coding or configuration procedure after the module has been uh, flash programmed. Just think of coding like if I broke my arm and, you know, the, I took the cast off and I need to rehab it. You know, I need to exercise it and, and relearn it so it can be uh, working the way it was before. That's kind of what coding is, okay? And then um, here, error code E4399, E4403. Um, these are like programming errors that indicate that maybe your VCI or your JBox isn't uh, communicating to the vehicle. Um, one tip I can leave you guys is when you're programming, turn your scanner off okay because the bluetooth will interfere with it and sometimes you'll get this error okay um and then lastly uh i call this kbyg k big know before you go know the procedures before you install these components okay uh, it's going to save so much time and you won't be scratching your head after you flash program something the car still isn't running right okay now, let's jump into this uh, case study. So the client works from home. He has his own shop. He works on a lot of uh, Asian and American vehicles. He owns the IM6 Way Pro and he replaced the transfer case and the uh, transmission assembly. Now, we've done programming before, uh, me and this client, and he went ahead and he tried to install the GM software and they change like every three months. It's, it's annoying. So that's when he uh, called me up and then um, 
I was able to sort them out with that. And then um, while we're doing the procedure, uh, one of the modules, he, he said that he needs to flash program the transmission control module. But then as I was reading, I said, there's a coding procedure he didn't know about. And then I asked him about the, the transfer case and he knew that there was a coding procedure, but when I did the reading, we had to program it first. So just imagine if he didn't have that data, it may have took him some time to come to conclusion what needs to be done. So I uh, have a GM subscription. I sent him over those documents and that way he was able to see for future uh, reference, okay? So how do you verify if a module needs coding or programming after installation, okay? And some of you guys probably know this, but I'm just going to assume if you're new to this channel, let me just explain my framework, okay? So flash programming, okay? First thing, when you typically when you get a, a module from the dealer, it's completely blank. There's no VIN, there's no operating system, it's completely blank. All right, what we need to do is go to the manufacturer's website, and then we're gonna purchase their software and download it to our PC, okay? And then once we download it to our, our PC, then we can connect our JBox to the laptop and to the vehicle and it's passing through that data into the ECU, okay? Now, as I said, after you flash program things, typically there's a, uh, a coding procedure that needs to either be relearned, adapted, adjusted, all these can be done with our scanner, okay? Some manufacturers allow you to do some on their programming software, but um, usually the coding procedure, procedures we do from our scanner, okay? Now, this is my exact framework when I uh, teach Flash programming for GM, okay? Um, I like to use their site, and I actually, uh, in the flash programming training, I can show you how to get this information for free, okay? Um, which is really good if you're starting off. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is look for control module references. It's on the right, okay? And this is a diagram that tells us, you know, the module, it gives us a schematic, the installation instructions. And when you look at the installation instructions, if you scroll down to the bottom, it will tell you what needs to be done in terms of programming and coding. And then where it says programming and setup, it tells you if it, if it needs that already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look for um, our module that we're going to be uh, flash programming. Okay, the transfer case. All right, and then if you read here, if the transfer case shift control module is replaced, the transfer case shift control module reprogramming procedure and the transfer case high-low clutch reset procedure must be performed. Refer to service programming system, SPS. So this is a, the terminology they use if it needs to be flash programmed, okay? And then um, it, it, it continues. If the transfer case control module needs to be reprogrammed, refer to service information, ensure the following conditions and exist in order to prepare for the transfer case shift control module. Okay, fully charged battery. So all these details is, is, is vital for us in order to set ourselves up to succeed fixing the job thoroughly, okay? So we know the programming and the coding procedure. All right, so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the programming procedure, okay? So we're gonna click Start SPS. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click Keep. All right, and then Java's gonna pop up. We're gonna click Run, we'll let it do its thing. All right, and I'm gonna click Skip because we don't need to install those drivers. All right, so now we're gonna click J2534 Tool. Uh, reset J2534 and then since we have replaced a component that's the one we're going to select reprogram ECU just means that you are updating uh, an existing control module that was already on the vehicle 
Okay, so replace and reprogram. We're going to click next. And this just gives us the uh, uh, preconditions that we need to do. Turn off ignition, verify everything's connected, ignition on. And then we're going to click next once those things are fixed. And then we're going to go ahead and identify the vehicle. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click everything. Bada boom. All right, and then we're going to select our J2534. All right, and at this point, your VCI is going to be blinking. It's going to be communicating. And um, typically, at the, like if, if you get that error that I was discussing, it'll be right here. Um, and that's when you need to verify if your uh, scanner is on or off. Okay. So we're going to click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to go to the transfer case control module. All right. We'll click OK. Next. 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 And then we'll let it do its thing. Now, this is sped up. All right. Typically, uh, flash programming can take less than five. Uh, for me, the most I've done was about 30 minutes, but it's, it's relatively quick. So once you get this page, it's a good idea to print this out just for your customer's um, peace of mind. And then um, now what we're going to do is the follow-up procedure. So what are the follow-up procedures after you install a TCM assembly? Okay, if the, if the TCM needs to be reprogrammed, refer to service programming, perform the reset transmission add ops or refer to reset. OK, and then it goes on. If any one of these are replaced, the reset transmission add ops procedure must be performed. Transmission uh, re replacement, any internal transmission repair, any speed sensor. OK, so and then no after programming perform the following to avoid any misdiagnosis okay so this is just something manual that we need to do okay set up for component replacement okay yeah all right so with that being said um let's go ahead and programming and coding procedure after you install the transfer case control module so the in the transfer case shift control module is replaced the transfer case uh, shift control module perform procedure blah, blah 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 okay so it needs to be flash program you can see that and then the there's a i guess a clutch reset procedure that needs to be done okay um and that's the coding procedure so program procedure for a transfer transmission control module so now we're going to be uh, flashing the the TCM okay so same thing all right replace and reprogram we're gonna click next we have everything set up let's go ahead and identify the vehicle and you get really good at I mean that's how I got good just uh, repeating the process so many times like I have a lot of situations where you know we can't get the VCI to communicate and we have to go back and go back go back and uh, after a while, you can just almost do it with your eyes closed. All right, so let's go ahead and click that. Next. That's good. All right, next. And we are programming. Okay. Make sure your doors are closed, and then we're going to go ahead and print this out. All right, so we have done our programming procedures, okay? So now what we need to do are the coding procedures, all right? So we're gonna go to diagnose, diagnostics. We're gonna go ahead and ID the vehicle. All right, we're gonna let it scan. All right, click the terms and agreement. All right, so we got the VIN identified, we're gonna click okay. 
And then it's going to give us a summary of our vehicle. Click yes. And then it's going to start going through some modules. It's going to ask us a couple questions. All right, scroll down, we're going to click not equipped. All right, so we are almost there. So we're just click on diagnosis and then we're gonna to go to control unit and then we're gonna scroll down and look for the transfer case control module. Now the reason why I'm gonna do the transfer case control module coding procedure is because um, the other procedure for the TCM, we need to drive the vehicle. Okay, this one we don't. We can just click special functions and uh, do the range actuator learn. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the directions. Block the wheels, set the parking brakes, set the transmission to neutral. Uh, it may have occurred. Da, 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 da. And then we're going to click continue. And then all we need to do is click learn. And then once it's done, we're going to get the status update. And then we are complete. So we're gonna go ahead and click escape. Okay, operation is successful. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the coding procedure of the transmission control module. Okay, so let's go. We're back to the main menu, diagnosis, control unit, transmission control module. All right, let it load. I'm gonna click special functions, transmission adaptive pressure reset. So the terminology is a little bit different guys, but um, as long as you know that there is a relearning procedure according to the manufacturer, you can go into that control module, go to special functions and see what's there. And you'll, you'll kind of have an idea of what um, based on the literature on the scanner, what needs to be done. Okay. All right. So this is the part where we need to actually drive the vehicle. And we're going to just uh, check to make sure that everything is up to the right uh, standard according to what the OEM says. And then once you're done, then you're going to go ahead and click reset. Okay, and then the coding of the transmission control module will be successful. Okay, so a few things to remember, guys. Before installing any module, do your research first. Know before you go, okay? It will save you a lot of time when you are at the vehicle, and uh, it, it's, it's, it's something that I highly, highly recommend, okay? Next, when you install a TCM assembly, you need to flash program with SPS, then do the transmission adaptive pressure reset, okay? When you install a new transfer case control module, you need to do the flash program with SPS, then you do the range actuator relearn, okay? And lastly, if you have a finger and you can read, you can program, and I'd love to help you, okay? So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you would like to uh, speak with me about you know the different tools, go to my website and I can hook you up with a nice tool strategy. If you need help with J25P4 training, go to alltelltech.co.za and click the J25P4 training and consulting service. With that, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Keep well, keep safe, and I will talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.